Hello and welcome to the Blender Basics video series. These videos are designed to accompany the chapters found in the Blender Basics tutorial book and not as a replacement. So if you don't have the book, head over to www.cdschools.org slash blenderbasics to download a free copy. This video will focus on chapter 3, creating and editing objects, creating the lighthouse. So here's what we're hoping to have after a few chapters of working on a lighthouse scene. Some nice water, hill, some fog, and a lighthouse with an animated light in the scene. So to get started, we're going to head on over to Blender um, and start out with a basic Blender scene. And we're going to delete the initial cube. And we're going to add a plane, add mesh plane. Remember, if you don't have the dynamic spacebar turned on, uh, you can hit Shift A to add or also select it out of the tool shelf. I would recommend having the, the tutorial available in front of you as we go through this because some of the measurements I give you may not be 100% exactly as recommended in the manual and it will make things go a lot smoother, but we'll do the best we can with this. So we've added a plane. The first thing we want to do is scale it up about 10 times. To be precise in our scaling, I'm going to open up this numeric window on the right hand side of our 3D view panel. Again, you can open and close that with the N key. And if I look, we have a go up here towards the top of this panel. Right there is a scale factor. So we're going to change the scale in all of these blocks to 10. Z is not so critical because it's only a two-dimensional plane, but hey, we'll change it just to get used to it. Okay, so now we have a plane that's a size of 10 blender units. In case you're wondering how big a blender unit is, these dimensions down here are in millimeters. So it's a pretty small scene. Okay, and we're going to go into edit mode, which we can do with the tab key. We're changing it also down here at the bottom of the viewport window. We're going to find the subdivide command, and we're going to subdivide this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we subdivided the plane six times so we have something that we can work with a little bit better. What I want to do right now is hit a number five to go into an ortho view, number one front view, and number seven. There's a seven top view. Okay, and zoom in so you can see the whole thing. Right now all of the vertices are selected. We don't want them all selected. So I'm going to hit A to deselect all. I'm going to hit C for circle select. And what I want to do is I want to paint a landscape scene out of this as like a, um, a flowing cliff side. So I'm just going to go down through here and I'm going to make myself a flowing cliff side. And that keeps popping up. And let's see, we're going to kind of select this whole area. So I'll go with a larger selection area. And we'll hit escape to get out of circle select. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit number one to switch to a front view. And I'm just going to use the arrow key and grab this vertice, move it up about two blender units. And what I've just done is I've just created a cliff area now. Now what we need to do is get a little creative with this and we need to kind of ragged the edge of this cliff. I don't like the fact if I um, hit tab to go to object mode for a minute, this just still looks a little too, a little too sharp. So if I grab single ver uh, vertex in here, I turn on proportional editing, enable proportional editing down here, and I just hit uh, G to grab and Z, and now I can kind of scroll this around and I can start to make this area look a little more ragged. I think I'm going to switch to sharp vertex select here because that might make it look a little more interesting. Grab Z, hit Z so you're grabbing on a Z axis. So let's just kind of make this edge look a little more broken down. And again, spend as much time as you want on this scene. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time right now. I'm just doing grab Z on all of this to kind of grab Z. Scroll that a little bit bigger. bigger. Maybe I can pick a couple more. And that's going to continue to be, I think, annoying for me. Okay. Let's select that one. Grab Z. And you get the idea. So we go through and we can continue to shape the side of this cliff. Alright, so right now if I continue to work on that entire cliff side, it'll look really good. So I'm going to switch back to object mode for a second just to see what it looks like over here. I'm also going to go back to my tool shelf here and I'm going to hit smooth for smooth shading. And you'll see that that starts to look pretty nice. Okay, maybe I want a hill in the background. I need to leave an area where the lighthouse can sit on a flat area. But if I go back, tab, go back to edit mode, I'm just going to make a hill back here in the 
in the back distance. Just, uh, I don't want to use that type of fall off. Let's go back to smooth fall off again. Grab Z, okay. So we'll kind of make kind of a hill back here. Okay, and I'll put my lighthouse like right about there. It looks pretty good. Okay, let's go back to object mode and we look pretty good. So now we have a landscape. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save that so we can um, now start to work on the lighthouse itself. So I'm going to go up to File and Save. And let's see. So I'm going to go back to... I'm going to call this one Video Lighthouse so I know it's the one we're doing for the video. Hit Enter twice. Sets the title. We now have a landscape saved. I'm going to go to File and New and reload my startup file. So make sure you save that one before you move on to the next thing. Again, I'm going to delete the initial cube. This time I'm going to go spacebar, add mesh, circle. And we're going to fill it with a triangle fan. So we now have a filled circle. I'm going to switch myself to a 5 ortho view, number 1 front view. And before I go any further, because we started a new file, I'm going to turn on my screencasting keys. Okay, so we did a five on the number pad ortho. And remember you want this to say front ortho up here in the corner. I need to shape this into a lighthouse so let's move my whole scene down. Remember to pan in Blender you hold down shift you hold down the mouse wheel. We're gonna go into edit mode. All the vertices are already selected and you can make your lighthouse as tall as you want to. It is entirely up to you so I hit E to extrude I place them, I hit S to scale. To make the walkway area of the lighthouse, I'm going to hit E to extrude, and I'm just going to hit escape out of there so they go flat onto the other ones. Now I hit S to scale, and I make that walkway a little bit wider. So if I turn this a little bit, you'll see we just kind of made a wider walkway area. Back to a front view. E to extrude upward. I'm going to hit E to extrude again, but then just hit escape to place them. Hit S to scale, make them about the size of the base in here, about the size of that part. Extrude them up. This will be the area where the windows will go. I'm going to hit E to extrude again. Hit escape to place them. S to scale them. Make them about as wide as the walkway so the people, if they're on the walkway, have a roof. And we're going to hit E to extrude one more time, go up about this high and scale those vertices in. Now an easy way to turn that into a perfect point at the top, and I'm going to pan down here a little bit, perfect way to merge all of them together is over here in the tool shelf. If I scroll down, here's an option to merge. When I click on that box, it gives me an option of where do I want to merge. I'm going to do the option at center. And now it's one vertex at the very top of that lighthouse. So now we're pretty good. So now we have a lighthouse. Um, I'm going to go back to object mode. Take a look at it. It looks a little rough. Alright, so maybe what I'm going to do is, again, back up here in the top of the tool shelf. Hit the smooth button. But I'm smoothing a little too much out. So I'm going to go open my panel up a little wider over here so I can get to my object data buttons. Hit auto smooth. And I may not even need to change the angle from 30 degrees at all. That looks pretty good. So, now we have a lighthouse. Now, there are some other steps in here that we're not going to talk about too much. Um, how do you separate vertices, separate meshes? Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later in another video. Uh, to join meshes together, you can hit the join button, but we, we just have one mesh. And we're going to keep going on the lighthouse. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of Boolean operation here. And the neat thing about Boolean is how you subtract one mesh from another. For example, if I go to a normal front view, move my 3D bullseye up here to the side. I'm going to hit spacebar, I'm going to add mesh, and I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller with the scale key, S. And I'm going to place this where I want a window to go into my lighthouse. Now, I can't see that cube. I'm in a front view right now, so I'm going to hit number 3 to go to a side view, and I'll just grab that green arrow and move it out. So as I spin it around, you'll see that in those two principal views, 3 and 1, 
I was able to place it in a good location. 7 wouldn't do much for me, a top view, but always try to work in a principal view when adding things, 7, 1, or 3. Always makes life so much easier. And the best way to see if uh, uh, Boolean operations work is to actually go to wireframe. And you'll notice right now, I want to use that cube and cut a little chunk out of the side of my lighthouse. So I have to re recognize what the name of everything is. If I right click on the lighthouse, it's told, it tells me down here it's called circle. If I pick the cube, it tells me it's called cube. I need to put the boolean on the lighthouse. So I'm going to select the lighthouse. I'm going to go up here to this little button here that looks like a little wrench. It's called modifiers. Modifiers are things that allow us to change a mesh. We're going to spend an entire chapter talking about modifiers, but right now we're only interested in the boolean or the modifier called boolean. Boolean is a mathematical uh, system where you can either join meshes, separate meshes, or create something that is shared by the combined meshes. So I'm going to hit boolean, and I'm doing it to the lighthouse. And what it wants to do is it wants to know which mesh do I want to subtract or intersect or union with the, the lighthouse. It's going to be that cube. I know it's called cube. I click in the list of objects and all the objects that are in your scene will be listed. I pick cube and whoa, what happened to my lighthouse? Well, by default, the operation is set to intersect, which basically means just create an object of what's shared between the two shapes. I have a couple of options. I have a union, which will now create a union of the two meshes. So you see part of the cube is kind of not highlighted. I want to do a difference. And what difference is going to do is it's going to cut a hole for me. So now that I have a shape that I like, I hit the apply and it now turns into a permanent part of the mesh. And if I go back to solid view, which I can do with the Z key, and I grab that cube and move it out of there, you'll see that I now have a hole in my lighthouse. So continue through the activity and shape up your lighthouse however you want to make it work. Um, if you ever make a mistake with anything, control Z is the command that will undo. By default, Blender will do 32 steps of undo, so you can hit Control Z up to 32 times and have it show up. Um, so, you know, there are a lot of different ways that you can go with things here. Um, I'm just going to grab that, pull it out of the way, delete it, and there you go. So continue shaping the lighthouse um, according to the manual and save this file as well. So you have a landscape scene saved and you have a lighthouse saved. So good luck, make it look nice. Thanks for watching. I know sweet Mary.